ladies and gentlemen. Definitely gentlemen, though. Um, I'm doing a quick video today on, well, a couple of things, but we're going to leave, uh, we're going to separate them into two videos. So this first one is going to be on uh, using text tools to bake um, a model. Um, I'm doing this as a kind of a special little thing for my good friend Adam because uh, he needs some help and uh, he likes building stuff in Blender but he uses Zmod to uh, put stuff in game so I was just trying to tell him that um, doing any sort of baking and stuff like that is much easier on Blender because you don't have to manually separate everything um, kind of does it for you so um, just wanted to show him how to do that I'm going to turn these up a bit so you can see alright so we don't really need that so much alright so I'm going to take the uh the cab here of this uh, W900. Like so. Um, so I can actually combine these two. Do join. So that's a control J. going to um, quad that thing because quads are cool all right so we got this where we want it um, So now what you're going to do is you can see down here, this is my UV area. So this is what shows me the mapping. There's no mapping of this right now. There's no maps. Um, so if you unwrap Smart UV Project, um, these are my settings. This is what I use, 71000000. Okay. It's going to take all of that and separate it into all its pieces. Um, you can look at the specific parts. So if I do like this, that's all the hood parts that's separated. And then if I do this, let's try that again. This or this. You know, it's going to show you the door and all that stuff. That's how it separates it. It does it all automatically. You don't have to do anything special. It's all there. All right, so this is your one UV map. This is able to be exported into uh, OBJ or... Um, let's see what we got. OBJ, FBX, 3DS, DAE. All of those and so you can import them into whatever program you're using. In this case, it would be Zmod 3. You import the OBJ, you apply the texture that we're gonna create right now, and then you're off to the races. So here's what we're gonna do. Um, this is text tools. It's available only in the UV window. Um, you have to add it through user preferences after you've installed it into the plugins folder. Uh, there are instructions with it on how to do that. So if I type in text, it's going to be right there. It's checked. Okay. So that's what we're going to do. Um, I want to do this in a 4096 uh, bake. Uh, padding is 8. These are a whole bunch of different things that you can, if you had uh, a lot of smaller parts, 
it's not going to be so good for this, but if you have a lot of smaller parts, you can arrange them so they're all facing the same way. You can sort them all like in lines up and down and so on and so forth with sorting horizontal. You can move them to the edges with these buttons. So it's a pretty powerful tool. It's, um, it was actually made for um, not Maya, but the other one that I can't think of right now. Anyway, doesn't matter. So he wrote it for this. Um, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna you check signal, signal, single, um, and then you can choose anti-aliasing either four or two times. I usually do two on 4096 because it takes like four hours to do four, not four hours, but too long for this video. You can try four. It does take a while, so just be aware of that. Basically, press bake. And then we're gonna stand by and wait. Um, so you can um, you can do a whole bunch of different things for the bake. You could manually separate the pieces on the model itself using um, uh, marking. It's called marking in Blender. So you can mark the edge of a model like. If I want the top of the hood to be separate from the sides, you just mark both edges where you want it to cut, and then it will fold those pieces away into the, what you see here on the, uh, what you see here. It will have, see this is part of the hood here, it will have marked those seams all around so you get the perfect top of the hood. It's very good for separating the pieces for painting, um, like if you're doing a um, for paint jobs for like the second UV that you would find um, but in this case we're not doing that because OBJs only export one UV layer so you can't put it into another program like that um, I'm not sure of the other portions of the I'm not sure if the other types of models, if they can export, but either way, you'd have to convert it to OBJ because I don't know what I don't know what ZMod imports, to be frankly honest. So I'm not exactly sure on that. Um, the uh, other video I'm going to do is on the cargos, so I'm going to do that probably in the next few minutes. So hopefully around midnight eastern time that will be out uh, for you guys to check out uh, the cargo system is a lot different than it used to be um, I think for a good for a good thing it's just a lot of a lot of trial and error to make things work um, it's not as easy as going from the old school like I don't to be honest that trailers I didn't even really do trailers that had their own cargos I only attached them to the SCS cargos after that whole trailer debacle came out which was like one 1.6 maybe I think um, before they kind of merged ETS and ATS um, so yeah, it's it's a far cry from where the game used to be um, on how to do the uh, trailers, the trailer portion. Um, so here we go. There is your model baked so if I save this and we'll call it um, you can save it as anything you want in here um, if you're gonna export it but if you're gonna be baking it inside of blender and using the blender tools you're gonna need to save it as a TGA file which I've explained before so you, you want to make sure that that's there um, we're gonna call this um, Aero cab T 
TGA. Then we're going to save that. So now if I <clears throat> make a, you can check this right here. So if I make a material so that you can see it. Um, we're gonna call this arrow cab. This is just this is just to see what the bake looks like. Okay, this is not to go into the game. This is just for checking to see what the bake looks like before you now export this into an OBJ. So don't kind of disregard this. I'm just doing this to to test how this looks. Um, so it's this UV map. We're gonna open that. And we're gonna go to texture. Oh, it's not gonna tell me, eh? Is that how we're doing it? Do 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 do. Oh, you need lights, Jeff. That's why. Ha ha ha. Stand by. So here you can see, like if I hide that, I just wanted to hide it, that's all. You can see where the, uh, the cab meets here, you're going to have that dark shadowing, like so. You can see the rivets here, how uh, they definitely stand out on all the seams. So yeah, that's how you do that. Just make sure you save that, and obviously don't change the... Um, don't change the... Uh, the layer, though. Don't change anything here in the UV before you ship it off, because if you change anything here, then the m image isn't going to match when you get to the other side. Um, but, like, it missed a little bit of the hood here, and that may just because be because I converted it to quads, which I probably shouldn't have done, but either way, you don't have to convert it to quads, but you should be working in quads and blunder anyway. Um, but yeah, so that's essentially how to do it. Um, which is the basis of this video, but as you can see, um, it comes up pretty well. And you can see the uh, where all the rivets are in the model. So there you go. So that's how to bake something using text tools over here in the uh, panel on the left-hand side of the UV portion of Blender. So. Make sure you check that out, and uh, maybe we'll see you next time for the next little trick you can use in Blender. All right. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time.